you said you did all these records, including the live ones. So when you, what is your approach? Do you have a method to, let's say you're gonna start a record next month. How does that process start? Do you watch cartoons? Do you watch movies? You know what I mean? What is your method? I, you know what I start doing is, is I, I just kind of, sometimes I stop myself if, if I'm talking to someone and I hear somebody say something clever, you know, and I, one of our, one of our songs that we play almost every night is, is a, is, is a, is a, is a song called just cause you can don't mean you should. And I, and I, and I wrote it with a, a, my friend, Tom Hambridge. And, and uh, I just remember watching some, one of those crazy shows on TV, like, you know, like it's, it's almost like, what was it? Jackass or it was, it was like where people just do dumb stuff that could get them killed, like with golf carts. Like let's jump golf carts and then they fall off and they're hauled off in an ambulance. And I just remember like I was riffing about that with Tom and I said, man, just, you know, sometimes just cause you can don't mean you should. And he goes, there's the song let's write it. And we just did. And, 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 and so you, when you're in the writing process, you, you have to be kind of conscious of, of these little nuggets that sometimes, cause we're all, we're all characters, you know? It, yeah. And, and if you could say it, um, in a way that's your own, like Eric Gales is a master at that. When we worked on his record, he didn't have any songs and his whole record came out of a single conversation that he and uh, our co-producer Josh Smith had at Josh's studio in, uh, in uh, Tarzana. Um, and, and he was just going off and I'm just listening. And Josh is talking and I'm not saying much cause I'm on my phone. Like, going that's a great way to say that so we wrote all these songs based on what he was saying and tried to write them in his own voice you know and when we would approach him with lyrics it would be like eric he's like man i'm not feeling it. i'm like okay great how do you feel like what would you like the same sentiment now tell me how you would say that yourself you know because then then it becomes his own and so that's what I try to do is, is I try to just collect little nuggets because li- starting with lyrics is so much easier if you have a good set of oh, lyrics. Oh, really? Than the lyric. Than because if you're just jamming, you're like, okay, what do you want to say? Well, I woke up this morning. Oh, God, not again, please. You yeah, know? not again. <laughs> but what about you? I, just you like, ever- I woke up this morning. Oh, no, 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 no. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you ever like, do you ever like write a song from like, like a, a hook line? You know, like yeah. a melody? Or, or if you're working on, because, you know, you're probably always working on tones and this and that or tunings and stuff. Does that ever like send you into an inspiration? You know, it's funny. I was, I, I was in uh, Abbey road studios and I was co-writing with Bernie Mars from white snake. And this was for our album Royal tea um, that we did in January of 2020 in London, unbeknownst to us, something was about to happen in the next couple yeah. of years. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Seemed pretty normal to me. Yeah. And, um, and we were about to wrap up for the day. We'd already wrote, one really good song that made the record. And we're in this little room upstairs at Abbey Road. I dragged some gear up and, you know, and be playing loud. And the old lady next door would be like, are you done yet? You know, like, like this is a studio. Talk to the man. You know. Which studio was it? I've recorded. Abbey Road. <laughs> which they have a little, which annex, room? They have little annex studios off property that are around the corner. It's like, it's a studio. We're supposed to play loud. Anyway. We ended up writing a song on the spot. Because I was, he was curious that how my Marshall Blues Breaker sounded with his 59 Les Paul. And I said, well, let's plug it in before we go. Plug it in. Uh, and I come up and I'm just showing him, you know, diamond and everything. And I start playing this riff and he goes, there's a song. Let's, let's, we wrote it in a half hour. Wow. You know, and That's it, it, you never know when it's going to happen, but you have to kind of be in a position when you start writing. You, you, sometimes you have to write a couple of duds just to get the wheels. Yeah. Cause I don't write every day. You know, I, yeah. I'm not one of those guys with, you know, like Dylan, where he's constantly with a pad and writing. Right. Stuff. Right. 